this is my wood shop. It's in my garage. And so is everything else I own. Huh. Hello everyone and welcome to our new channel, The Weekend Woodshop. Uh, in, on this channel, uh, th there's something that I think every one of us who are kind of weekend warrior, uh, weekend handyman, uh, weekend just anything kind of, uh, kind of craftsman uh, can relate to. And that is the struggles of having to share your shop with the rest of your family. Uh, you've got kids who have toys and bikes and, and stuff. You've got vehicles that you have to park in your garage. You've got uh, miscellaneous storage that you've kind of compiled over the years to try and make things work and then it ends up looking, well, like that. <laughs> uh, and so what I'd like to do in this channel, what I'd like to do starting in this very first episode is let's figure out a way that we can, that we can get organized. Uh, one of the things that I have uh, that I would like to do in this first episode is I would like to uh, I would like to give you a kind of a shop tour and show you the equipment that I have kind of give you an idea of what my plan for that equipment is uh, and then also how are we going to move forward from there uh, I'd like to get into some woodworking projects there's several woodworking projects several projects projects in general that I would absolutely love to share with you all um, one of them is uh, is my my oldest uh, is an artist and they need a uh, they need storage and so one of the things that I'd like to do is kind of make a hmm, Swedish knockoff of a storage cube kind of a thing and so we'll work on something like that I've got some work that I've got to do to my uh, to my workshop here to my workbench we'll talk about that a little bit and then the big project the piece de resistance is over there in my studio because I have another YouTube channel as well I need a more functional desk and so that's a project that I want to work on on this channel as well um, so won't you join me for a little shop tour okay so first thing I want to show you guys is the workbench now the workbench is still a work in progress right I have been uh, I've been kind of designing this in my head planning it uh, and building as I go um, but it's mostly 2x4 construction it's on locking casters so that we can move it around but the whole reason that I built this was for this uh, this is a very special table saw there's nothing unique about it well actually there's something very unique about it uh, it is a roughly hmm, 26 30 uh, eh, 36 year old circular saw or table saw um, this was my father's my father passed away in 2019 uh, and I was unable to uh, go up until after the pandemic he died late in 2019 uh, and then uh, in the spring of 2020 the pandemic hit and so here it is 2021 and just a few weeks ago maybe a month or so ago we finally made it back home and my mom gave me all of the things that my dad wanted me to have and one of those things was uh, this table saw this table saw like I said is 30 some years old like 36 years old we bought this for my father in uh, Christmas of 1985 it is an eight inch black and decker table saw it is what most people would consider to be like a, a hobbyist table saw uh, you can't do anything really big with it but it has a lot of sentimental value to me um, i remember a lot of times working with my dad on various things around the house uh, and i learned how to use a table saw on this very table saw and then of course i went into uh, woodworking class in high school and, uh, and did wood shop and that was uh, that was a lot of fun and all the things that my dad taught me I was able to carry over into that class and learn even more and hopefully we'll be able to show off some of those talents over the course of these uh, of these videos but um, I needed a place to put it because it had uh, no stand my father did not have a wood shop at all he had everything was portable and every time we wanted to work on something we would just put it in the backyard and we'd make our cuts and we'd build our stuff and we just we didn't have a place for it well now 
I want this to have a, a proper home. Um, and so I built this work uh, built this work table. It is totally not done yet. Uh, the support structure right now is currently only being held in place by clamps. That's not a good idea, but it is what it is. Um, but right now I'm working on getting the elevation of the saw just right so that uh, so that there's no high edges either on the table itself for the table saw or the, uh, the, the workbench top so that everything kind of slides across here nice and smooth. Um, there will be, the ultimate plan here is, is that there will be storage and dust collection and, and all that stuff. We'll put a router table in probably on this side over here. Um, takes time and effort, right? And every time I want to work out here in the, in the shop, I have to move everything out. I have to pull the car outside and I have to move the work table over into a spot where I can use it. And so being able to optimize the space is a priority. But this is the first project that I'd like to get finished uh, before we can move on to anything else. I need to build a fence for it. So I have, uh, I have bought and downloaded plans for that. And so once I get this thing all squared up, I've got a temporary fence that I can use down underneath. I want to build a proper fence for it, complete with uh, sliding and locking and measuring and all of the things, and it's going to be great, right? That's hopefully the plan. Um, but that, that is my table saw currently. Very sentimental. It means a lot to me to have this in the shop. The next item that I'd like to showcase is, uh, is my dad. Again, this, this is something that came from my father. It was his, uh, his miter saw. Now again, not high tech, not state of the art. It is probably almost as old as the table saw, but my father took very good care of the tools that he had. And again, it never had a proper home. So I went to Harbor Freight and I got a stand for it. So now it has something that it can sit on. Uh, I have you know, adjustments here so I can support my work. Uh, and as you can see, it has sawdust on it, mostly from cutting all that stuff. Um, ultimately, this will have a home on one of the walls and we'll make a, a proper miter station for it so that we can use stop blocks and all that. But for now, that's $30 I ever spent. Okay, for this part of the video, we're going to handheld mode because this is going to be kind of a pan and shoot kind of a thing. The rest of the shop area, uh, we've got our air compressor, we've got our shop vac, we have yard tools, we have bikes. Uh, over there is my is my mechanics tool chest where I've got all of my wrenches and sockets and uh, impact drivers and stuff like that. And then we come <laughs> and uh, an old server rack that. That's got a story behind it. We're not going to tell that in this video. Uh, and then we come to the rest of our storage. This is the eyesore that I want to try and uh, make a dent in uh, in the very near future. But in order to do that, we're going to have to build some cabinets. That's why it's so pressing that the, uh, that the table saw project get done first, because we have to have a good, reliable place to cut up all of the plywood and such that we're going to use to build the storage for uh, for this wall. This is where the miter station is going to go. So they'll ha we'll have a countertop over here where we can make saw cuts on the miter uh, as well as stop blocks so that we can get precision cuts each and every time. Uh, and then as we keep panning around, we see more and more just random stuff. Now I have a plan for the random stuff. Out in the backyard, we have a shed, this shed, that uh, we're going to start storing all of our outside stuff in. So the bikes will go out there, the, the miscellaneous outdoor toys and camping supplies and stuff like that. All of that will go out into the shed. And then over here we have, uh, we have a, a router table. Now, this router table has not been used yet. It was given to me uh, as a, uh, as a we, we've never used it. And uh, we heard that you were in the market for one. So I am currently in the process of doing some work on it. It had a... Uh, it had a bit in there that was absolutely seized up and stuck. The router itself works. I've, I've turned it on and it does work, but uh, got to get rid of a lot of the rust and stuff from the inside of the collet so that uh, bits can go in and out of there nice and easy. But uh, yeah, so as you can see, lots of work to do. Another thing that was given to me is this uh, Central Machinery Manual Mini Mill. Uh, this was given to me by a very good friend of mine. And again, I haven't done anything with this yet, mostly because I didn't have a place to put it. 
So now we have to build a place to put it. But what I'm gonna do next to round out this first episode is I need to, I need to finish getting this tied down. Right now, like I said, it's being held together with clamps. Those clamps are holding in these, these spacer blocks uh, that I'm using to adjust the elevation of the table saw. So what I need to do is now that I've got the height where I want it, because I did work on that a little bit in between uh, the last clip and this one, I've got the height where I want it so that it's fairly flush with the table around it. Now I need to lock this in place. But in order to do that, I've got to cut some larger blocks for here. These are just scraps of wood that I had. They're not consistent at all. So what I would like to do is cut several six inch pieces, swap those out to lock this table, to lock this shelf in place, uh, screw down the, the, the plywood that's holding the table saw up and, and get this squared away 100% so that we can call this done. And then after that, we'll have to cut in the, uh, the miter slots, we'll have to build a table saw, a fence and all of that, but those are gonna be up and coming videos as well. So let's get this nailed down. are in, the table height is set. The main thing that I want to make sure of at this point is that this blade is square to this space. The reason for that is when we get to the point where we're going to build our new fence, it's going to ride on this face right here. There will be a 1x4 here that, that furs it out a little bit, but still this blade has to be square to this face. So I'm going to use my big square. We're going to place this right along here, just like so, and we're going to slide this right up alongside there, and that is dead on square. So that is, uh, that is exactly where we want to be. The plans for this uh, are, uh, are available online, not the plans for the bench, but the plans for the fence that we're going to build are available online. Uh, I will try to remember to put a link for that in the description of the video where we build the fence, but at this point, we are now ready to really get going uh, doing some stuff right here in the shop. Um, just a couple of details about this bench. This is, like I said, this is my own custom, uh, custom design. I've got some ideas as far as what I want each of these sections to be and so forth. Um, of course, there'll be the fence system along the front. There'll be some cabinets down here for storing uh, extra tools for the table saw, extra blades, maybe the dado stack, stuff like that. Um, and then on the, right, on the other side, there's going to be cabinets and shelves for uh, storing uh, other things as well. I'm going to have to make sure I have a place for squares and levels and all that stuff hanging on the sides. Um, I am going to cut this piece here out so that I have better access to the controls for the table saw. Uh, but I am going to leave this essentially the way that it is. <laughs> Some of you may be looking at this going, man, that is a thick, thick tabletop. And you're right, it is. It is three-quarter plywood, half-inch plywood, and then three-quarter MDF. The MDF is going to get sealed so that it doesn't soak up all the water because we are in Georgia and it's humid, and uh, MDF soaks up moisture like a sponge. So we want to make sure that we take care of that, but we're going to seal it, and it should be fine. Um, but I think that's going to do it for today. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the, uh, about the idea for the series. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff. We're going to be doing shop organization. We're going to be doing shop furniture builds. We're going to be doing custom projects for, uh, for people here in the house, like storage systems and dressers and all kinds of stuff. So I'm excited about this. I hope you guys are too. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video. See you, everybody.